Welcome to our lecture online and here's an equation x squared equals 12y that seems very simple and you say well why do I need to graph it using the standard form and of course you wouldn't have to if all they want you to do is graph the parabola you probably just want to write this as y equals 1 12th x squared and you you pretty well know how to graph something like that but they're not asking us to graph it like that using the quadratic equation formula. They want us to graph it using the standard form. So how do we do that? Okay, well, you know that the standard form is going to look like this. The standard form will look like x minus h quantity square is equal to 4p times y minus k. So we need to make this look like that. Okay, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we can write this as x minus 0 quantity squared, because that's still the same as x squared, is equal to 12 times y minus 0. Again, if I multiply this times y minus 0, I get back 12y. Right, now the only thing left that I have to do is make this look like that. So I can write this as x minus 0 squared is equal to, how about 3, oh, nope, nope, I want to reverse that. How about 4 times 3 times y minus 0. Now I have this looking exactly like that. Notice my h is 0, my k is 0, and my p is equal to 3. So h is equal to 0, k is equal to 0, p is equal to 3. So now I want to go ahead and graph that. First of all, my vertex is going to be hk, so therefore my vertex is at 0, 0. Secondly, I want to find my focus. My focus is at h and k plus p. So h is 0, k is 0, p is 3, which means my focus, which is equal to h and k plus 3, is going to be at 0 and 0 plus 3, or the coordinates 0, 3. That makes it 0 for the x and 1, 2, 3, 3 for the y. There's my focus, and it's at 0, 3. Now my directrix. My directrix can be found by taking the equation y is equal to, that would be right there, k minus p. So in this case that's 0 minus 3 or y is equal to minus 3. So y equals minus 3 is down here, 1, 2, 3. So this dashed line represents the directrix and the equation y is equal to minus 3. Okay, now I can go ahead and graph it. If this is my vertex right here, at this location, that's my focus, then I know that the problem must open upward, like this, and like this, in such a way again, that the distance from the focus to any point on the problem, this one right here, should be equal to this distance right there. And again, that's using the standard form to graph a parabola, even if it's given to us in a very simplistic equation like that, again, go back to the standard form, make this look like that, and then you find your h, your k, and your p, and then you can graph it like that fairly easily. And that's how we do that.